Hey guys, Kyle from LightStanza here, and today we're going to be talking about how to create lighting fixture families in Revit. In this video, we will walk through the basics of the family editor in Revit and create a square and circle downlight family. Today, we're going to be working in Revit 2020 to create our lighting fixture families. I would suggest that you work in the oldest version of Revit available to you as families are not backwards compatible. In Revit 2020, let's go over here where it says Families and click on the New button and we get this pop up here. There are a couple different default family templates that Revit provides for us. They provide some lighting fixture templates and some generic model templates. Today we're going to use the generic model face base family template right here. Starting with a generic template file instead of a lighting template file gives us more flexibility in the placement of our lighting fixtures. We are able to place a lighting fixture family on a vertical face, a face, and a work plane when we use the generic face base template file as opposed to if we start with one of the lighting template files we get less options for placement. You can also use the generic model template file if you want a lighting family that doesn't have a host so you can place it at any height in your Revit project. One way I find this useful is when doing exterior lighting fixture placement. Nesting families for different host types slash options is out of the scope for this tutorial. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on generic model face base and we'll click open. The first thing we want to do once we have opened up our generic model face base family template file is go up to the left here and click on the family categories and parameters button. And under family category we want to change this from a generic models to lighting fixtures and then just hit OK and now this is a lighting fixture family. A couple things to get orientated. If we go up here on the left and click on the family types button, this is where the multiple family types for each family and the parameters for that family are controlled from. And looking at our views here, this is a face, so imagine this as a wall or a ceiling. It's not part of the uh, geometry of your lighting fixture family. One of the main tools when creating families in the family editor is reference planes. We use reference planes to control geometry and the reference planes are in turn controlled by dimensions and parameters. So to draw a reference plane, we'll go up to create, we'll click on reference plane, and we can just go ahead and draw reference planes in our family editor. To create geometry for your fixture family, we also go to the create tab and we'll click on and button under forms. We'll just go ahead and we'll create a basic extrusion and we'll draw a box and we'll hit the green check mark. And now we have an extrusion created for our family. Now we're going to go ahead and create a square downlight to start. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and draw our reference planes for our square downlight. So we'll go up to create, we'll go click on reference plane, and we're going to go ahead and draw reference planes for our square downlight. So we'll just draw two there, we'll draw two vertical ones, and then in our front view we're going to go ahead and draw two horizontal reference planes as well. Any height works. And now we have our reference planes created. Now we're going to go ahead and draw the geometry of our square downlight. So we're going to create a surface square downlight which means that it will be on top of this wall or ceiling or face. And so we'll go over to the Create tab, we'll go to Extrusion, and we'll click on the square. And then we'll just go ahead and align this with the reference planes that we drew. And we'll click Lock on all four corners, and what the lock will do is it will lock the geometry to that reference plane. So as that reference plane moves, the geometry will move with it. We'll click the green check marks, and now we have the start of our square downlight. The next thing we want to do is change this rectangle to a square downlight that's centered on our center point here in the middle. So we're going to go up to the Annotate tab and we're going to press under Dimensions Aligned and we're going to go ahead and dimension these reference planes. Click that and then on the left I'll do the same thing with these two and then to center this geometry we're going to go ahead on the right side click once, twice, three times and click off. And then where it says EQ we're going to click on EQ and now they're equal on both sides of our center line. And we'll do the same thing with the verticals. Press EQ. 
and now they're centered. The next step is to lock the geometry, the height of our square, to the first reference plane. So we're going to go up to the Modify tab, and we're going to click on the Align button. And we'll click on the reference plane first, and then we'll click on the top of the square. And then we'll click on the lock. And now, as I move this, the height of it changes. So the next step is to create our parameters to link to our dimensions. So we're going to click on our 5 foot 10 dimension line, and up where it says Label, we're going to go ahead and click on Create Parameter. And we're going to create a parameter called Width. And this will be a type, and we'll click OK. And then on our left side here, we'll select this dimension, and we'll click on the Label, and we'll click on Width. And now we have a proper square. And then we'll do the same thing with our height. We'll press DI for dimension. We'll click on the two reference planes, click off. I'll select this, and I'll go ahead and create a new label called height. And hit OK. So now I have two parameters called width and height. And so if I go up to the top left and click on family types, as I change my height, it changes in the family editor. And now we have what looks like a realistic downlight that's surface-based, controlled by parameters. And so when I load this into my Revit project, I can change the height and the width of my downlight according to my needs. Now we want to go ahead and add a light source to our family. So on the left here where it says Properties, Light Source, we'll click that but button. And this light source is what light stands and needs to recognize your lighting fixture family as a lighting fixture upon import to light stanza. And now we want to go ahead and assign a photometric IES file to this. So we'll click on the light source. We'll go up to light source definition. And under emit from shape, since this is a down light, we'll change it to a point. And then the light distribution will be a photometric web. Hit OK. And now when we go up to family types, we have some photometric parameters. We want to go ahead and assign a default IES file that is a down light. So under Generic, we'll click on the three dots, we'll go find Downlight, hit Open, and then we'll go ahead and for Tilt Angle, we'll press 90, and we'll hit OK. And now we have a photometric web file associated with our lighting fixture family. So now we're going to go ahead and walk through getting the IES file positioned correctly so that it's not facing into the wall. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on the photometric web file here, and I'm just going to have it drag it to the left, and I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. So up here in the Rotate button, I'll just rotate it 180, and then I'll drag it over here. And now in a 3D view, we can see that it's facing up away from the surface. And so the next thing we need to do is we need to align this to our reference planes. So I'll use the Align button up here. I'll click on this horizontal reference plane, and then I'll find, the, there it is. I'll hit Lock. I'll go back to a plan view. And I can go ahead and do the same thing with my horizontal and vertical reference planes. And I can lock the IS file. Do that. I'll do the vertical. And there it is. And so now it's centered. And so as the fixture geometry changes, the IS file will stay centered. And we're going to go ahead in the front view and we're going to add a dimension. So we'll go up to the annotate. We'll create an align dimension and we'll dimension between these two reference planes. And we'll go ahead and we'll create a label for this dimension and we'll label this IES offset. Hit OK. And then we'll go up to family types and we'll set a value of half an inch for this. Hit OK. And now when we go to a 3D view, we can see that our IES file is centered, it's offset a little bit, and as we change the size of this fixture geometry, the IES file will be positioned correctly. Now that we have a square downlight, we want to go ahead and we want to create a circle downlight. So we're going to use the same things we already created in here to create the circle, and we'll work from the square downlight that we had created. So we'll go ahead and I'll go to a top view, and I will select the fixture geometry, and I'll go ahead and I'll delete it. And I do no longer need 
these reference planes, so I'll delete them. I'll go up here to family types. I will click on width and I will delete that. Okay, I'll hit OK. Next, we're going to create the circle geometry. So I'll go up to the top left where it says create. I'll create an extrusion and I'll select the circle. And I'll just do it from the center point. Any width works. And once I have drawn my circle, I will go ahead and click on this dimension. And then once I click on the dimension, I'll go add a label to it. And we will call this radius, hit OK, and then we'll hit the green check mark. And we'll ignore that warning for the moment. We'll go to a front view, and we'll go ahead and we'll align this geometry to our height reference plane. So we'll press AL, also this button up here in the top left, align. We'll click on the bottom horizontal reference plane, and we'll click on our geometry, and we'll click lock. Okay, now the height is set. We'll go up to family types and where it says radius, we'll put in three inches for a circle. Hit OK. And we'll go to a 3D view and now I have my circle down light. And I can go ahead and file, save as, family. And I can change this to be circle down light family. 